Let's now take a look at a disease that in this country disproportionately affects African Americans, sickle cell anemia. New treatments offer hope, but Bertha Coombs looks at the challenge of providing access because of the high cost. For Michael Goodwin, crippling pain from sickle cell disease makes life unpredictable. I could be in the hospital 20 days out of a month sometimes, which hurts me because I have a son now. Still, he's leery of new gene therapies, which require months of intensive medical prep. And then there's the cost. Vertex's Casjevi lists for over two million. Bluebird Bio's Lifgenia for over three million. I do have insurance, but those, I mean, I, I already have medical bills. Goodwin's hesitancy doesn't surprise Dr. Julie Cantor, director of the Adult Sickle Cell Center at University of Alabama at Birmingham. My guess is even if we opened the gates today to everybody getting this therapy, at most only 10% of those individuals affected by sickle cell would want this therapy. Uh, and even that would be too much for us to manage right this second. More than 100,000 Americans have sickle cell disease, according to the CDC, with 50 to 60 percent of them covered by Medicaid. Dr. Cantor says it will take time to ramp up capacity to treat patients at scale. In the meantime, states are grappling with how to ramp up access for those on Medicaid. The immediate consideration is the cost. Uh, it is very high, and state budgets simply cannot manage that on their own. The Biden administration is launching negotiations with Bluebird Bio and Vertex for Medicaid plan discounts with payments tied to health outcomes. For Michael Goodwin, the outcome is key. If they could guarantee me the outcome that I wouldn't have sickle cell, I would do it in a heartbeat. Michael Goodwin is back in the hospital today dealing with his disease. You know, researchers hesitate to call this treatment a cure, but during Vertex's recent earnings call, the COO said that they've already signed outcome-based agreements with individual Medicaid plans, and they're working on it with commercial payers, and they're confident because so few people, he says, fail to respond. Both Vertex and Bluebird anticipate starting treatments for their very first patients in the coming weeks, John. So is it a matter of if it works, then um, it, it's worth it? It's, it's really a matter of paying it all at once. Uh, uh, researchers at the University of Washington said if you look at the cost, they're saying if it's under $2 million, which it probably would be under negotiations, hmm. you look at the long-term cost and the lifetime cost, it balances out and it right. would be worth it. But you pay that over years, so $100,000 a year. And at this point, nobody's talking about a Netflix model. But that is one of the things that people are starting to look at longer term for these breakthrough gene therapies. And a lot of them are coming down the pike. Yeah. Bertha Coombs, thank you for that important reporting.